Hello guys, and today I think um, there's a problem with the um, video, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, today um, I'm going to eat um, some. Balson branded um, dark chocolate wafer biscuits. Now it says on here, um, I never find this one, I want to. Um, wafers with dark chocolate, okay? Let's see, so sorry, I'm at the right way up. Now I've had this brand before. And it is a German brand. <coughs> and no, it's not out of date. And inside, you get a tray. I've never had this particular one before. I've had um, other biscuits fine before, but never these. Okay. Open it up. And inside, you have these. You have two cavities. Each with a set of biscuits, they're all the same biscuits, so there's no difference. I think they're trying to make them look like after eight, but they're different because inside, I think it's just wafer. So they look like after eight, but they're just really like after eight, which is mint and some other thing this is basically a biscuit i'm not sure if there's any mint in here if any mint flavor but i don't think so i'm not sure so yes this is um Um, it claims it consists of cocoa mash, sugar, wheat flour, cocoa butter, whey products, palm oil emulsifier, whole milk powder, invert sugar syrup, hen's egg yolk powder. Why don't they just say egg yolk powder? Why have they mentioned hen's egg yolk powder? Um. I to the word hen's. Why well, I mentioned that is beyond me. Um, salt. Raising agent, sodium carbonate flavorings, and yep, um, it's dated um, February twenty fourth, so it's way within date, unlike mo a lot of stuff I do. It's difficult to get the lighting, but take my word for it, that is 24. And so, I'm going to have another one. I mean, there's nothing really fancy about it. It's just dark chocolate, but it's covered it all over. And inside, it's basically wafer. 
And the past I have had after eight and said they look very similar to that, but this is biscuits instead. They also use similar biscuits that aren't wafer but uh, biscuit biscuit. And I truthfully prefer them. And if you like dark chocolate and you like wafer, you might like these. Well, I think I prefer biscuit biscuit, but to be fair, I haven't had wafers for quite some time. And I haven't had a lot today to eat either, so maybe that's having an effect on me, but... It's a very, very thin layer of um, biscuit in there. So it's a very, very thin layer of wafer. Mm. That's very good. Mm. There's 13 in one half, so I'm guessing there was 13 in the other as well. These weren't the cheapest, but um, you know, I was just genuinely curious to see. Um, so if I've had it already, it might be have been originally 26, I'm guessing, but. And like a lot of dark chocolate, it tends to have a sour taste. I'm personally a fan of dark chocolate, but I know mean, not everyone is. Um, it tends to have a more sour taste to it. Often I prefer dark chocolate coupled with mint, or I prefer dark chocolate as part of a digestive biscuit. But, anyway, guys, there you go. I also put some more exotic looking wording on it. I had to double check what it was on the ingredients because it uses exotic, it looks like French language. Or maybe it's um, Italian, I'm not sure. I say, Chocolato, fondante, it might be um, Italian, I don't know. And um, even though the instructions on the back are in English, it's really strange as to why they've got what looks like it might be Italian or I don't know, some other language. Um, Versato, su una, I mean, maybe it's maybe it's. I have no idea what the language is to be completely honest with you um, but it's really strange that they've actually got these um, um, Perpetuum Fondante it's strange that this is like in English and it's got the instructions in oh it's got some French here as well Uh, 
Yet here it's got the instructions in English, so it seems like they're trying to go. So I'm baffled as to why they've got different parts of it in different languages. It seems a strange thing to do. All right. <laughs> Yep, so, yeah, part of it was Italian, I didn't make it up, I wasn't, it looked a bit strange, so. So I've got some multilingual instructions here. And where it says, um, Wafer al Sicolato Fondante, and it's got the Sicolato Fondante bit, I've actually found out it is in fact Italian. strange but there you go I don't think I've ever come across any multi um, you know lingual for before uh, not at least where they put it on the front you know maybe on the sides or you know back of a tin or something but anyway so there you go guys I'm sorry to bore you to death it is what it is I mean it's just um, you know Dark chocolate all the way round. And I'll just show you another one which I haven't I haven't broken. This is what it looks like before I broke it. Anyway, it is what it is, guys. Um, dark chocolate biscuit. Okay. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.